Well, as a part of the plea deal, Boone has agreed to testify in any trial, which of course could include Anthony Burfoot's. His trial is expected to begin in November. So, what will happen to his case now that all this has come out? Penny Your Side Stephanie Harris continues our team coverage. Stephanie? Tominita, the former vice mayor is accused of taking $475,000 in kickbacks and bribes dating back to his time as a councilman in 2004. A local community action group presented a petition for his recall from office this summer. Last month, the judge ordered that trial be pushed back until after his federal criminal trial. This afternoon, I spoke with John Hill, the man who led that recall charge. We can't understand why he is still in office it seemingly the wheels of the Justice Department is in slow motion when it comes to getting Mr. Burp out of office. Mr. Hill says some Norfolk citizens have even talked about a tax revolt. That is, putting their taxes in escrow until Burfoot is out of office. Respected local attorney Sonny Stallings would advise against that. I spoke with him as well for some objective legal perspective on what today's federal proceedings could mean for Burfoot. It's not good for Mr. Burfoot because that's clearly Mr. Boone's going to be a witness against him. Uh, Mr. Boone's made his peace with the federal government, so to speak, and uh, whatever he has to say will be evidence against Mr. Burfoot. And Mr. Stallings said that he does not believe today's developments will have any impact on the recall trial. Of course, we'll continue to follow this every step of the way. In the newsroom, Stephanie Harris, 10 on your side. Thanks, Steph.